Hello, in uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to construct a triptych. Now you might be uh, wanting to construct one for um, portraiture photographs or architecture photographs. Um, it doesn't matter, the, the tutorial is all about how to actually construct um, the kind of canvas that the photographs are going to go into and uh, what size and resolution to save them. Okay, so if we open Photoshop and open up one of our photographs. So I'm going to do a portrait based triptych to start with. So let me just open up um, a photograph. Now, what I mean by portrait um, format is it's nothing to do what you know with the subject matter. It's to do with the shape of the photograph. So, if I'm just going to move it, if the photograph is tall, taller than it is wider, that's known as a portrait format. And what we're going to do is we're going to put three of them because a triptych means you know in three parts. So we're going to put three of them that are going to be exactly the same size and exactly the same resolution into one document. What we need to do is to save all of them 15 centimeters high, 10 centimeters wide, with a resolution of 300. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to go to image, image size. So, for example, if uh, you opened up your photograph and it was, you know, 23 by 31, sorry, 23 by 34.51. Right, we need to change it. So you click in here, and you put in 10, and then um, the height will be 50. Now, the reason why, you see, once, once you change the top one, this one changes. And once you change the bottom one, the height one, the top one changes. That's because constraint proportion is ticked. Now, if I was to untick constraint proportions, can you see? This one isn't moving anymore. So let's say I put in um, 20. That one doesn't move anymore. Okay. So to keep it all in proportion, we must constrain the proportions. Okay. So the height is 15, the width is 10, and the resolution is 300. Okay, that. I'm going to file and save as. Call it whatever you want to call it. And for now, I'm saving it on the desktop and I'm saving it as a JPEG, okay? And lastly, to replace, because I'll have it already, that's okay. Open the second one up. Image, image size. Again, you'll see 10 by 15 with a resolution of 300. And then finally, Final image, image, image size, make sure constraint proportions is ticked. The width is going to be 10, the height is going to be 15, and the resolution is going to be 300. Okay. And file, and save as. Right, so we've got three photographs, they're all the same format, they're all portrait format, that means they're taller than they are wider, and now we need to put them into one document, that is going to be, um, that's going to be the kind of the canvas for the triptych. Now, what we want to do is we want to put them next to each other, okay? So if you think about it, the height of one photograph is 15 centimetres, so we're going to make the height of our new document 15 centimetres, but we want three photographs next to each other and the width of each one is 10. So three of those, three tens, is going to be 30. So if we go to File, New, we want to make it 30. Remember, we want three, put in three photographs, each of 10 centimetres wide and all of those photographs are going to be 15 centimetres high 
and the resolution is going to be 300 so there we go that's our canvas and now we're going to put the images um, inside so at this point I'm just going to double, uh, double click on the background to change it into a layer okay it's just easier that way so if we go to file now I've got place here you will probably have place embedded it's the same thing I'm going to get my first photograph and I'll place it and then I can move it into position and go into file and place or place embedded Uh, second image. Okay, that's now on a different layer. So I can move it. I want it to sit right next to the previous image. Okay, take that. And then finally, file. on a third, oh, sorry, that's in the fourth layer, and we'll just move that one down. Okay, just put it in for now, quickly. Okay. okay, so we've got three images, and you're looking at them, and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute. Um, actually, I, I don't think those two images work really well together, and that really should be over there, and that one should be in the middle, so that's what we can do, but you've got to make sure that you're on the right um, layer. So what I'm going to do is move this picture into the middle. So that's that layer. Now I'm on here, I'm on the drag tool here. And I'm going to just pop that there for now. Okay. And then I need to move that one across, which is on that layer. And give it a tiny, tiny white line here, which um, I will need to get rid of right at the end. Now, I s um, that one's in the right place. Uh, we need to move this one next, so go to the right layer and move. If you're finding it quite difficult to control and it seems to be jumping and you can't sort of, you know, control it to, to a great extent then you need um, to go to view and if your snap to is ticked just un just untick it okay and then let me just see if you can see if it's so the finite And then we just want to move this one to the right place, so click on that layer. Okay. So now they're in the right place, but we've got to get try and get rid of these um, little white lines. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to layer, flatten the image, so now it's just one. Go to your crop tool. Now, if you can't find it, it might be one of these. It's on there by mistake, the perspective or something else. It's usually the crop tool there, but that's where it is, okay? It's here. And um, now you can do it by eye. It depends whether you want it dead on. If it had to be 30 um, by 15, so. And then that will keep it in, in proportion, but you will lose a little bit as well. So, let's see if we bring that in. You are going to lose like a tiny bit here. Okay. Um, 
Um, or you can get rid of these numbers. And then you know you can just move them in time and time and time and time. Just probably get rid of all those little white lines. So, um, if you've got this, um, see this line here of, uh, of little dashes around the image, um, you can just get rid of that by obviously going onto your, onto your drag tool. And there is, you can see a little tiny bit of uh, white laid in there. So, it depends on um, how precise you want to be. But it's good, you don't want those tiny little white lines, but also you don't want um, to lose too much of your image either. So, yeah. and, 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 and that's it. So you've just created a portrait uh, format triptych. So that means that you have tall photographs, taller photographs, that go next to each other. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Actually, let's I'll probably save it. So, what I'll do is I'll just go file, I'll save as. Might, might as well save it for planet society of black and. And that's it. Now, I'm going to just close. Now, the other um, format that you might want to use is uh, like a landscape. Okay, so um, it's going to be completely the opposite. The photographs are going to be landscape format photographs. I mean, they're going to be wider than they are taller but you are going to put them underneath each other this time, not next to each other, okay? So, same thing, file, open, I'm going to find my three images, so image, image size, make sure constraint proportions, okay, that's the first one, same as, You can see here that it's not going 15 by, by 10. That means you have to crop it at this point. So let's go over here. 15 by 10. And then you do have to decide which bit of the image that you're going to lose. Okay. Because you don't want to distort it and you know start stretching it. You have got to try and crop it. And also sort of bring it, make it a bit smaller here. Okay, just like that for now. Okay, image, image size. By 10, it be 100. Okay, file, save as. Now for the final one up, that's not that one. Okay, for the 
find one more image that's in the landscape. Okay, what I'll do, I think, is um, I'll create the triptych using uh, the same the same image. It's going to be a bit quicker, I think. So, what you're going to have is you're going to have uh, three photographs, all say 15 by 10, um, with a resolution of 300. Now, this time it's going to be slightly different. So, you're going to go to File and New. And remember last time the width was 30 and the height was 15. Well, now, if you think about it, your photograph is going to be that shape, okay? Now, your width is going to be 30, but this time you're going to put them underneath each other. See what I mean? So you're going to have 10 width, 10 width, and 10 width again. So if they're going to go underneath each other, then the height is going to be 30, that's fine, and the width is going to be 15. So you see, it's slightly different, well, very different, different uh, orientation, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and Place. And paste that in. And then you have a third image, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to use this one again, just to, as an example to show you. File, paste. So it's exactly the same thing as, as uh, you know, the same editing as the previous triptych. Uh, you, if you know, if you want to move, uh, let me just take that one. If you want to move this middle one, you must click that um, that layer, and you need to make sure that they're all um, next to each other, and then you need to get rid of your kind of outlines by. By doing some cropping. Okay, so okay, so if you're doing that and um, and you're taking the numbers out and uh, this happens, just click on that circle, okay, and then that needs to go away. Um, actually, at this point, it would be better to flatten it, wouldn't it? So let's go back to the drag tool. Let's go to layer. Let's flatten it. So it's one. And then um, you can very carefully just crop out. Okay. And that's it. So um, you, it's really important where students um, don't quite get it is they're trying to fit, you know, uh, portrait shape photographs into this format it's not going to work if you're having them one below each other the photographs must be that shape okay and vice versa um, and that's it so hopefully you will have at least one or two completed uh, triptychs um, and that's the end of the tutorial